What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna do an entire shoulder workout together, all right? I'm gonna give you my entire workout. You're gonna take it right after this video and you're gonna go do it, let me know what you think. Basically, we're gonna warm up with a little internal, external rotation just to get the shoulder warmed up. It's something I do before doing chest or shoulders. Check it out, let's have some fun, let's get into this workout and let's crush it. So I also got these new shoes, they're called Noble. So some of you might have them already, but I thought I'd try them out. Guys, they are fantastic, no fantastic. They're seriously, they're the best workout shoes ever. Like, I just feel strong on them. Uh, they have a flat, hard bottom where I can get enough power generated if I'm squatting. And also, if you have any kind of knee instability or anything like that, my knees feel great with these, all right? So I just thought, this is not an ad. This is just to tell you a, a public service announcement just to help out, all right? I love them, they're great shoes, all right? I just think Nikes, they run so narrow, they are so narrow, they're not for people with wide duck feet, aka me, and uh, they're great shoes, no bulls, so check them out. Let's get juicy up in here, juicy up in here, juicy, 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 juicy. Time to pop off the shark and get juicy. Well, I'm obviously taking the shirt off because it shows the muscles working more. And I'm a little bit vain. All right, guys, this is my band. Stretchy, light band. You don't want anything too heavy. Basically, we're gonna go around pull. I'm gonna do a little external rotation. So my elbow is tucked. I'm gonna go ahead and kick that hand out to the side. I'm gonna go three sets of 10 this way. Then I'm gonna tilt my elbow up and I'm gonna go three sets of 10 this way. All right guys, now that I'm all warmed up, my first move is gonna be a barbell overhead press. I like to do it standing. Just, I like to start my workouts with a big compound movement. Some people do it in the middle, some people can do it at the end. I usually like to start out with my strongest move right in the beginning. So we're gonna do a barbell overhead press. I'm going five sets here. Um, usually I do like one to two warm up sets just to get a good feel, and then I'm gonna get into my working sets. Get it. All right, so I did two warm-up sets. I did just the bar, did about 20 reps, and then I did 25, did about 15 reps. So now we're at 135, got 45s on each side. And here, I'm gonna get anywhere from 10 to 12, and I'm gonna work my way down, almost like a pyramid, but I'm not gonna go too far where I would go into like reps of four and two. Stop, usually around six reps. I just ended up doing a uh, set of 12, a set of 10, two sets of eight, and then one set of six. So that is your sets right there. Now I'm gonna go into seated dumbbell press. Um, I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit uh, lighter here. Um, I'm gonna go for reps of 12. So I'm gonna go four sets of 12. I just feel it right now from my chest day yesterday. So usually I don't pair those two, but uh, back to back, but it's all right, it is what it is. It was just my schedule. So, um, four sets 12 here. Get after it. So, four sets 12 with that last one. Here, we're gonna go barbell upright row. With this, I can do more weight than putting 25s on each side, but this is just about control. So I'm gonna go four sets. Again, we're doing four sets of 12. I wanna really control the weight. One thing that I see a lot in the gym is people that just, they take this weight, they throw a 45 on, and they're just like, you know, like don't force it up. You wanna make sure that you're nice, you're erect, you're slow and controlled, and you're really feeling in the dough. Check it out. Now we're gonna get into lateral raises. These are my favorite. Um, basically, 
I'm lowering the weight. I'm going to grab a pair of dumb uh, 25s here. Can't talk anymore. Obviously, the blood is going elsewhere. Um, <laughs> we're going to use 25s. And when I do lateral raises, the thing I focus most on is actually my thumb and my pinky. Um, obviously, I focus on the delt. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is when I'm doing these, I turn my thumbs down and my pinkies up. That way I can really focus on that contraction, getting into that delt. It's just, it's a different kind of contraction rather than just coming here and just kind of run through the motions, all right? So try that, lower the weight, tilt those thumbs down, just like Caesar back in the day, probably in like the Roman era, where you're like, no. <laughs> so give them to the lion. <laughs> so just get into those um, lateral raises and see how you guys like them. So I ended up actually getting four sets of 20 on the lateral raises. I thought, you know, 15 would be enough. Um, honestly, the 25s were a little bit light, but that's all right. I just intensified it a little bit more and I went up to 20. Let me tell you, my shoulders are burning. So that was four sets of 20. Now I'm going to get into some rear delt fly to end the workout. And here I'm going to go four sets, 12 reps, and just really just target the heck out of my rear delt, right? Let's finish it up. That's it guys, that's your shoulder workout. Go give it a go, let me know what you think. Um, a little bit more volume today, but honestly a great session. My shoulders are on fire just holding this tripod right now, holding this camera, my shoulder's burning. So I'm gonna switch arms. <laughs> if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, until next video guys, keep it peachy. See you next time.